Did I mention that I'm in London for spring break? Actually, I'm in my childhood bedroom at my parents' house right now, but by the time you watch this, I will be in London. Actually, if you're watching this right now, it means that I wasn't able to upload a live vlog from London, so instead you're just going to get a pre-recorded video. But don't worry, next week I'll be back with a really awesome video from London. In the meantime, do you want to see some juggling tricks? So the first trick that everybody learns when juggling is called the cascade. Uh, the idea is that you're supposed to imagine a box in front of you. Uh, what you do is you take maybe the ball from your left hand and throw it to the opposite right corner of the box. And then you'll take the ball from your right hand and throw it to the opposite left corner of the box. And you're going to continue this pattern of throwing to the outside of your body and eventually it'll look something like this. Once you've mastered the cascade, you'll learn something called the reverse cascade, which is exactly how it sounds. Instead of throwing to the outside of your body, you'll now throw to the inside of your body. So you'll throw from your left hand to the bottom right corner of the box, and from your right hand to the bottom left corner of the box. So it'll look something like this. The juggling trick that is probably the most depicted in cartoons is called the waterfall. It's this continuous circular motion that kind of looks like a waterfall. Sometimes you drop balls. One trick that always pleases the crowd is called the dumbbell, which is where you have two balls going up and down on the outside, while you have one ball going up and down on the inside. Sometimes you can have one ball going up and down on the inside, and both balls going up and down on the outside, but one of those balls is being held. There's even a trick called the tennis ball, which is where you have one ball volley from one side to the other. Kind of like a tennis match. Then you have a trick called Mills Mess, which is this complicated pattern where you're basically crossing your arms as you're getting your ball under one arm and under the other arm. Sometimes you make really weird faces when you juggle. I can't control that. There's this trick that I forgot the name of, but I kind of like it because it looks like a series of balls jumping over another one. Kind of like sheep jumping over the fence. There's also this trick called the robot, or the machine, which is really, really hard to do, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. tricks that you can do with three balls, but there are plenty more that you can find on YouTube. That last trick that I did, I learned on YouTube. I also recently learned how to do four balls, but it's a work in progress. This could end badly. Hey, I saved the orange one! So those are some juggling tricks that I know. Hope that everybody's having a great week, and I'll see you next week, hopefully with a really good video from London.